जादू मंत्र जादू मंत्र जादू मंत्र यू आर गोइंग इन टू द फ्यूचर You talking to me? A always B B C closing. Yeah. Get that money, get it, get more credit again. The queen is dead. Pa, this is a financial problem. Ah, that is three da. Tell me, Anbaran. Please tell me. I am Madal Madalak. Kada naayega na nari karapada. This is another thing. I am. 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 இது வரைக்கும் கொடுத்தது கூட திருப்பி கொடுத்துட்டேன் எல்லார்கிட்ட நான் பேசுறேன் படம் முடியற வரைக்கும் யாருக்கு சம்பளம் வேண்டாம் எப்படியாவது மறுபடியும் தொடங்கிடலாம் வேற என்ன செஞ்ச சரியா உன்னோட அதிகமா வாதாடி தோத்துட்டேன் இனிமே இந்த படம் நடக்காது அவ்வளவுதான் நீ உழைக்கிறத விட்டுறாத உழைக்கிறவனுக்கு கஷ்டம் ரொம்ப நாள் இருக்காது மறக்கிறியம் um so, so like yeah yeah what, what are you really like it <coughs> so i liked it uh, i actually really liked it uh, what are your thoughts on mm-hmm. it i mean yeah it, it was uh, to be honest better than expected uh, hmm. i mean uh, i didn't like the trailer at all to be honest and you know um, i was like borderline making fun of it because you know uh, okay so first of all i Jitu Joseph's uh, film track according to me hasn't been that good post Drishyam okay i've seen uh, um that prithviraj movie that he do, did with him and uh, memories uh, the he mem- no 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 the recent uh, prith- oh, after uh, drishyam that even i don't know the name uram right yeah 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 uram i think uh, that was quite average then i watched his uh, you you me and our friend ajit we went to watch uh, adi which starred mm-hmm. mohan lal's son Yeah. you remember how horrible that was and how i how much i hated it i mean did not hate it actually but i just didn't like it at all mm-hmm. and then uh, i watched two of his recent films one was uh, thambi with karthi mm-hmm. i watched it on set max and the other one is uh, body with um bro where do you watch all uh, this even i haven't seen anything body is there on netflix i think uh, mm. i with imran no, hashmi and seen, like, uh, rishi kapoor uram and uh, thambi and all <clears throat> uram i watched like long back when i was in college only like Mm-hmm. at that time with ajit and uh, uh, what uh, and thambi i watched like the i watched the hindi dub version on uh, set max mm-hmm. so i mean i don't know but in general all <coughs> these films you wouldn't call them good films to be honest okay and that was the last thing that i expected was drishyam 2 to be good enough mm-hmm. or something that i like i mean that will be like decent mm-hmm. i mean i didn't love drishyam 2 but it was good enough like how did you like exactly find it like no before that like what were your thoughts on the original have you seen the original uh... i actually yeah yeah i've seen it twice now i mean uh, i there was not the first film i was introduced introduced to malayalam cinema with but it was like the initial films like probably like the third or the fourth film that i saw uh, from as like a malayalam film uh, sometime in 2015 i think and uh, you know at that point even in 2013 when drishyam had come out um mm. i knew about that film and i was I, i was not the kind of person who knew a lot about like malayalam cinema or even like northern or like the um just the cinephile culture knew like a lot about uh, malayalam films at that point and uh, everyone like drishyam was like a very known film at that point like everyone had watched it and like great reviews great thriller twist ending what not work for it i liked it when i watched it uh, i understood where that whole film was but i watched it very recently Actually, I watched it just before I watched uh, Drishyam two, and uh, to be honest, I didn't like the first forty five fifty minutes of it, or like the first hour of it actually. Yeah. Um, <coughs> because I I I didn't just I didn't warm up to that whole acting style uh, again. Mm-hmm. 
okay except like mohan lal's acting like acting he was and like terrific. film making Even, also just in general like you know the right 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 but but what happened was right after that that r mark when that tragedy strikes on the family and all those things hmm. i think jitu G- joseph just went like on the fifth gear itself and you like just speeding into that whole film so you don't have a lot of time to think about anything as such okay mm-hmm. uh leaving that it's just that everything became better and better as the film progressed you know even those those yeah. certain moments when they came up like you l- really got those chills like like you know uh when when their family is being tortured uh you know there's one shot um where you see that sahdev's uh, face and behind you can see uh Uh, mon like george kutti's youngest uh, daughter and you know you could feel that dread like something bad was going to happen at every at all the points mm-hmm. so i mean he knew he was building those those certain moments at that point and even on rewatch like drishyam works for me in many many ways okay yeah and but one thing also that didn't work for me was um, asha sharath's acting i yeah, just yeah. didn't like you know i i actually liked uh, i mean this is not a controversial statement in any way but i actually liked tabboo's performance in the drishyam more than this one like like the role the kind of portrayal that upright you know uh, i just could feel tabu's yeah, yeah. dominance uh, in that I role think, i think i think maybe Ashurat. that was his first role or something i mean tabu is like as experienced as anybody oh. can be and i think she came okay, from okay, this okay, okay, kind okay. of uh, tv serial like soap opera background so i mean okay, that's okay, kind okay, of okay, reflecting okay. in her acting also i suppose i mean but i, I mean yeah i mean uh-huh. tabu is obviously really experienced so i mean you can't really compare the right. two hmm. but but what's like the significance of drishyam at like malayalam audiences and cinema in general since like released i think it was just a really big uh, hit at that time and it was this one common movie hmm. that everybody liked like uh, all kinds <clears throat> of audiences hmm. kind of flocked to it at that point and i saw it kind of late i saw okay. it maybe like 6 months after it released and in i think like the first 2 oh. 3 months you couldn't even go near the theater it was that packed because uh, <laughs> somebody was coming huh. out with like a big movie and it's like a big uh, actor and uh, yeah mm-hmm. and it was getting good reviews also and i think it released in some festival uh, period mm. <clears throat> i mean that's all i remember like i saw it like 6 months late or not maybe not 6 months maybe mm-hmm. like 4 months late or something after everybody had seen it mm-hmm. so uh, yeah i mean mm-hmm. uh, it was like Uh, I think uh, Mohanlal himself described it as kind of this aftermath of a murder kind of movie. I think he said it's like in, done in the style mm. of Hitchcock, like you know, like uh, Psycho right. or Vertigo or right. something, where like the murder thing happens, and then it's like what happens after that that they focus on. Right. I mean that comes more right. in the uh, uh, writing itself. You know, as same thing with this movie. I think like the writing mm. is like the standout aspect of it. You know. Uh, right. 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 <coughs> mm. we talk about how a lot of that soap opera tv serial kind of uh, mm-hmm. uh, dynamic is there here and like just the general style of mm-hmm. filmmaking and lot of the side acting as well uh, i mean that's just i mean i am willing to like mm. look past that i i mean, i'm not you know hung up by that whole thing because i mean mm-hmm. you've seen a lot of movies like that in india right which are like right uh, right yeah full of sentimentality and you know uh, kind of right over emphasized acting um, all of that i mean a mm-hmm. lot of exposition i mean people i i don't know why certain people who are reviewing the film are acting mm. as though they've never seen movies like this in india before i mean okay i get it if it's like some foreigner saying it but then there are people in india who mm-hmm. are seeing it who are pretending as though they've never seen uh, movies that have sentimentality and all in india i mean like what, are they like 10 years old or something just 15 years back people were making movies <laughs> like this on a regular basis you're talking about drishyam 2 only right pretty much pretty much yeah even in the first half so, of so, uh, drishyam 1 you can see a lot of that yeah uh, yeah yeah soap opera style of uh, doing things yeah i mean it's not r- wrong to do it right i mean it's it's yeah. purposely like old school style right yeah yeah i mean he he's not like a director who's a, uh, trying to make like some perfectly uh like some right. new age artistic creation or anything he's just making like commercial cinema that's all right right and he, like his strong point is obviously writing and that that kind of shines through uh-huh. in this second uh, movie especially even in the first movie but then right, here, right, right. that is like the f- main thing right right i mean uh, also one more thing like tell me like you watched like 4 months later did you get to know the twist and like 
No, uh, actually, like, like uh, the, when I went trending? to see it, I think somebody had told me like wrong things about it. Somebody said this is about a guy who uh, watches a lot of movies and then uh, solves crimes using like what he's seen in the movies. I mean, that is such a vague description about it, <laughs> and it doesn't. Uh, that's like that's like a bad way to. like tell a plot also i mean yeah i mean like yeah. i i didn't uh, and i'm watching the first hour and none of that thing came up uh, at all yeah. and th- that is just a side thing in the first movie like it's not like the main focus of it or anything yeah yeah, yeah. and so when i saw I it mean, i mean uh, yeah again i also like the hmm. last uh, one hour or something like that more than anything else yeah. but i i don't exactly remember like how i, I felt the first time i remember liking it hmm. that's all I I think uh, why Drishyam to work for me all uh, in this space is because I think it's it's based exactly in the same world like hmm. like you see more sequels right <laughs> most of them don't even have like they are like mo- mostly like quasi sequels you yeah. don't they don't even have like good connections to the previous part this wasn't the case here it was like an uh, like a very good extension to the first story itself hmm. right like it it didn't want to tell you tell you another story like it's the same story right right of what you thought was like a like a very good ending to right mm. but and, and you know those extensions work for me also because they they are like very natural to the whole process mm-hmm. like you know ptsd is a very natural process uh, to that whole aftermath you know at some point after watching the first film okay uh, rewatching the first film i was just wondering towards the end itself like okay i think the second part could be about you know the whole trauma this family actually faced yeah. and that is exactly what it was about hmm. and i think that that was the best possible <coughs> solution to uh, you know just writing the film and uh, also okay um why peop- like people's I-, i just read like a lot of reviews where they were like you can skip the first 45 minutes of the second film and and watch the film i'm like you're an idiot to say that okay and this is not even about being subjective with respect to the film uh this is just pure you know good writing actually you know without that first 45 minutes 45 minutes mm. the other half of the film won't work at all right yeah like you actually have to get to know the family you have to get to know the dynamics and you know what i actually liked the first 45 minutes of this film more than the uh, first part actually yeah same like same like it same. worked for me it worked for me better you know and since i watched it back to back i had like a clear idea of what it was in the previous film so i you know the dynamics worked better the acting worked better and you know um like the interpersonal relationship between him and his daughters also mm. you know there there were a lot of things that you know mohanlal was doing with his eyes you know with his expressions you know that you know any any normal family would do instead yeah, of like yeah, you yeah. know spitting out dialogues mm. in general so i think those small small things actually worked for me in like small small ways it just built up to the fact you know he's he cares so much about that family you know you could yeah. feel it so whatever actions he takes later on become very realistic to that character in that film <clears throat> yeah it makes that whole relationship of the family more right. real and like more grounded in a sense hmm. because uh, i mean right right you're right. going for like very uh what do you call it extreme things happening to after a certain point so i mean you mm-hmm. need some kind of foundation before right. you know you go there uh, but yeah anyways like even the first 45 minutes i i think there's a lot that you can pick up on when you watch it like a second time like i saw it second time and then i just right. like uh forwarded through it on prime and that it the thing mm-hmm. is in this one the first hour there's it's not just the family drama things actually setting up so many different things mm-hmm. that uh, pay right, off right. later uh right right and you can see uh, like a lot of details also okay right from this point i think we can give spoilers right uh so yeah, yeah. So let's let's give spoilers from here on so anyone who hasn't watched please don't watch it anymore uh ahead this is uh, now we are going to get into spoilers now Yeah I mean there's lot of spoilers here such as uh, uh like what happened so just go watch it first uh yeah so uh I, I think second time I watched it I noticed lot more details like uh, you know in the, in the hmm. first scene or something there are these uh, neighbors who are fighting right like who later turn out to be like ploys but uh, yeah then yeah, right. small small details you know like they are fighting when these two are hmm. out in the open like they are behind their house that's when they start fighting so he's like incorporated small right, small details right. like this and also like just from there itself like yeah. then it goes to like the scene where uh, the main character he's going to this uh, tea shop which is like the center of discussion hmm. in that whole town and uh, Hmm. like in the first scene itself he's like giving uh, stuff uh, from his uh, farm and saying like you can sell it for free and all then i noticed like this is actually like the one guy in the whole town who's like rooting for him right 
that i i hmm. kind of noticed that this is kind of him appeasing that guy like making sure that he spreads the word that this is a good guy like he's the one who later says that <laughs> you know uh, we are all fans of him like we we all like him he's like a good guy and right uh, right uh, right when he's entering that tea shop itself you can see him kind of like looking around like just it's just very subtle just eye movement kind of thing but he's constantly surveying mm-hmm. the place like he knows that this is like a place where you know uh, one topic of discussion can get out of yeah. hand and you know they, everything can turn on them yeah so i mean this right from the beginning they are building up a character who's like aware of the whole surrounding like who's you know cognizant that mm-hmm. these people might start off something that can you know uh, snowball into like a whole uh, issue for them uh because people you know everything hmm. can spread by word of mouth so he's like you know he's appeasing Definitely, the tea yeah. shop owner like the one guy who's uh, supporting him uh then there's this thing like hmm. which comes out in the writing itself which is like this idea of visuals which is right there from the first hmm. movie itself like okay he's like uh getting all his you know street smart knowledge from watching hmm. movies that is one aspect of it so that right. there itself there's the idea of yeah. visuals <clears throat> and then it's about who saw hmm. the thing happen and uh, you know there's the guy he shoots the video mm-hmm. of his uh, daughter this is all in the first movie i'm saying and the same idea yeah. of visuals is sort of carried forward like again this is, this guy is uh, loved mm-hmm. movies from earlier so now he's like a theater owner and he wants to make a movie and uh, mm-hmm. uh, in the end they say uh, we weren't observing him uh, it it was the other way around right so because of that mm-hmm. there's this thing of like he's setting up cctv cameras earlier which is like exactly that he's observing right, them right 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 yeah, yeah and yeah. he mm-hmm. he's basically looking at the police station way before like he, these guys are uh, you know planning to uh, trap him uh, yeah and mm-hmm. <coughs> also since most of his knowledge comes from watching movies uh, uh, like all his mm-hmm. ideas are also like very cinematic like the uh, right and just th- everything that he comes up like all the tricks and all is like very cinematic and then like the this this plot right. itself uh somebody or the other is always trying to make a screenplay out of it first like the the younger daughter's <laughs> friend in the school he's like i'll make a short film out of this this is like a good idea for a screenplay so there right, itself right, like right, you're right. thinking oh yeah this is a good idea for a movie and then he himself is like going with that script in the end you know So, right that's then, a very slight slime meta touch to to the whole proceeding exactly yeah. exactly there's a lot of meta moments also like he uh, is clearly like a cinema lover uh, and he, there's a one point where he says mm. oh this guy is teaching me about movies or something and like you can see how yeah, much yeah, yeah. like that is his uh, you know knowledge base in his head uh, and yeah. and that's all coming out in the writing also even even in like uh, although there is that kind of uh, sentimental style of hmm. uh, shooting things and you know when something like a twist is revealed it's like doom 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 and all but then th- there are some moments hmm. which like uh, make up for that like there are hmm. the scenes where uh, the whole scene starts out with this guy behind the bars of a window and uh, you can right, like right, looking right. through them and you notice like that each member of the family at some point or the other is framed behind these window bars and that's behind kind of windows. like right, right, uh, right. like a ominous thing like these guys might end up in prison behind bars hmm. that's that's the kind of thing they're going yeah, to yeah yeah right 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 uh, like hmm. the uh, mother is looking through the bars when she's like talking to that uh, you know undercover oh, uh, sarita uh, cop hmm. uh, then the daughter is looking through and she sees somebody like she's hallucinating or something hmm. all of those things and and hmm. the meta moments it's like he uh, uh, like uh, he himself says at one point like uh, he's talking about the novel that he published to avoid that copyright issue and he says this is not yeah, a suspense yeah, yeah. thriller it's just a simple family movie and that's kind of like representative of the movie itself you know right and yeah, i think yeah. uh, I, i don't know i mean uh, did you find any like loopholes that were like glaring or anything i mean i didn't think of anything like that me neither actually i don't know if i if there are any i i think so there are maybe i because i wasn't thinking like logically i was just thinking yeah. believing whatever was whatever was happening so i didn't really have like problems with all of those mm-hmm. um one thing that also really worked for me i was just thinking about it like how um how well jitu joseph just expanded this whole world you know mm-hmm. earlier it was a little more family centric right yeah. now it's a little more expanded like it goes to the people of of the place as well right Mm. where you know them talking also you know snowballs into a lot of things actually yeah, yeah it yeah. affects in some way 
the the, uh, the uh, family in some way so it just i think i was just thinking like it adds more characters and you know i, I really liked uh, murli gopi in this mm. and uh, there was another thing i wasn't expecting because he is extremely natural in it yeah, and yeah. that's a very good thing because you know i was believing whatever he was telling me you know mm. i mean to obviously to the with respect to the context of the world it works even better i think um mm. that is one another thing that i like and you know just this the fact that you know it's it feels like a lived in world you know uh, at this point after watching like two movies you know most of the places in that town right yeah you know the geography of that place you know like uh, what like what people are going to be there at at the tea stall at what point mm-hmm. so that is like another great quality i really like i think that is all really good writing yeah. uh, you know and and the, and the thing <coughs> that he was like leaving out like fragments of information hmm. and you know I was wondering at some point, like towards the middle, um, in the second part, it became a little too sluggish because I was like wondering, like, where is it going now, right? Hmm. And you know, in this part, George Cooty isn't too dominant of a personality as a whole. Hmm. So, so what happened was like I was wondering, like, where are they taking from this point? Like, why are these fragments of information given to me? Mm-hmm. And the way it came together, all of it, you know, it just worked ten times better than how it should have actually, hmm. you know. like in my opinion yeah and and so, i think I mean, like the kind that. of uh, 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 like loopholes or anything that should have been covered up did hmm. get covered up like for example the guy who saw him in the beginning who when he's burying the uh, body in the police station right uh, so you might ask like uh-huh. why didn't that guy come out earlier so like they established that this guy went to jail immediately then and then only after 6 years he's coming back right So stuff right, like that, right, that, that that's a very good writing yeah yeah i mean stuff like that is that's the very good stuff that can stuff be striking can, uh, striking loopholes or like stuff that can uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you may think <clears> of <throat> immediately when you see it i think those they did a good job of covering up so i mean somebody was st- i just saw something mm-hmm, on mm-hmm. Uh, uh, right some site i think facebook or instagram or something where they're saying like uh, why they he's giving them the remains of the body in the end So isn't that like evidence mm. for them and I'm like I, I don't think this is even a question to ask like what kind of uh, mm. I mean it's so <laughs> like I I didn't even think of that in the end like I was just uh, good with whatever happened till then and right uh, right right yeah I mean uh, what did you think of like the uh, acting in general I mean j- let's just talk about the main characters of course there's a lot of side characters who are uh, you know <laughs> kind of uh, overdoing it I mean that's just a uh, you know i think he just got a lot of non actors to come and play all those r- smaller roles um uh, i actually didn't have an issue in this one i don't know why hmm. maybe i was because my in my head space I, i had just watched the first part so you know uh, when you when you watch like a certain film and you're like uh, into it into the world you know you get like the the style of acting just uh, like you know imp- gets imprinted on your mm-hmm. you know mind or subconscious or whatever <laughs> So I I couldn't find really like, like that kind of acting in this one actually. That's what I was telling you before. Like you know, uh, the the kind of acting worked for me in this one because probably I watched the first part or maybe it was like good or maybe it was like better uh, by by the regulars in this film. And you know, uh, like like in the beginning only itself when he when he's like starts with those those people sitting at that bus stand or whatever. Hmm. is shooting them from very far behind so it, it looks like someone is observing them so they are also acting very natural to that whole aspect that they don't have to perform in someone in front of someone else even uh, narayan and nayar is acting as like uh, suleiman right he was also very hmm. you know a very endearing quality to his to his acting i mean i'm picking out very specific things i mean it's not even specific it's just the general uh, acting even, i i mean i i really don't know what to say about like mohan lal's acting because like he was like beyond excellent in this both these films like you know hmm. i mean and he that's like a standard these, that he's built he like. does all these kind of small small things that add to that characterization right. you know like right um, right right this right. is a guy whose hmm. decisions are driven by fear more than anything else like some people like you can think right. that this is some cunning guy who's like scheming and planning you know but then it's more like he's just trying to yeah. stay out of dodge like just fear is driving him more than anything else hmm. and also the that is one layer and then the second layer is he can't show his fear to the family like if he shows his fear to the family they'll start freaking right, out right right like, then the family collapses yeah right. and one yeah. you uh-huh. have already have one daughter who's dealing with this post trauma kind of thing and of course he can't yeah. he can't reveal that side of his to them uh, and uh, if you notice like mm-hmm. when when a guy comes uh, like uh, this yeah. whole thing is revealed and a guy comes to their house and they're all standing in front of that house uh, 
him his wife and mm-hmm. his daughters and uh, the guy who yeah, comes yeah. running reveals that uh, no not reveals like he asks him like did you bury this guy under the police station did you bury yeah and so if you see his reaction mm-hmm. he's he's not turning around at all like his family is behind him yeah and he doesn't turn behind around. and they're like thought, looking at him like what happened yeah, yeah. like that's such such a good yeah. decision by him you know like he's just standing there and just i saw it mm-hmm. when i saw it again i noticed like his wife comes from behind and there's actually a shot of him uh, framing him from behind like they just show his back and his back, right. back of his head head his wife joins yeah. him in the same like line of sight and only then he kind of looks at her alone and then just with his eyes he looks back yeah. like to see how they react yeah right so i mean like small small things like mm. this he does i think it really adds to the and i i said before right when he goes to that junction where he knows that this can this is the mm. place where you know the talk of the town can uh, spread this uh, spread right. rumors and everything whenever he is right, there right, 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 he is right. there in around three scenes or something he's like constantly just looking down but then he's like also surveying people left and right like just just with his right, eyes right 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 uh, mm-hmm. and also uh, towards the end like you know when uh, the case gets uh, mm-hmm. uh, quashed or whatever he's mm-hmm. coming out and uh, he's coming out of the court and uh, morally gop is there and they both just cross paths right and Right. If you notice he doesn't smile or anything like because he's not happy with this like mm. he just he knows this he's is He's not happy. Yeah, yeah. He's still in in like yeah. the what do you call it uh like he knows the stuff can still come back up and you know he's just uh, right in some in way or the other yeah. that's all. And so he's not happy about yeah. it like he's just got like no expression even outside he uh, sees like the dead yeah. boy's parents the, the parents uh cop and, and the his director. wife uh yeah Uh, I mean the cop and the husband and uh, he doesn't really mm. look at them he just glances at them and then he just goes like he doesn't smile or like he doesn't act yeah. like some uh, criminal mm. mastermind who just got away with it you know yeah he's not yeah. yeah i mean so that that i thought like he's got that kind of really good understanding of the character that makes him you know yeah put all those small small decisions in every scene basically mm. i mean that, that uh, even like the 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 character was supposed to be very you know practical with things you know real, little pragmatic in his approach yeah yeah and that's exactly how he did in the acting as well like mm-hmm. you know he was very you know practical with whatever he was doing you know there wasn't any over reaction to anything yeah you know because you know <laughs> he knew some or the other reaction would result into you know everything was calculated not yeah. just his moves but also his acting you know any other reaction uh, would also get the views out of that experience because they know he can't he can't do something which like which collapses his whole family or his whole uh, ploy or whatever yeah. so i mean he was he was a little smart about everything you know as as an actor as well mm. and um, in all, in a lot of reviews people are talking about crime and punishment like and you even you 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 spoke about like what's your take take on it actually i mean just this I mean, aspect just of the philosophy Yeah. Yeah. Just this aspect of like uh, somebody who has committed a crime. Okay. This is not. Uh, of course, mm-hmm. this is not a person who are uh, even the wife or the kids. Yeah. They are not like you know uh, criminals or anything. You know, they just out of self defense yeah. did an act of crime like this, and uh, because mm-hmm. of that, you know, and this guy is just a normal guy. He's got a fourth grade education, and uh, mm-hmm. anybody who like commits some kind of sin like that. uh you know they they hmm. it won't just leave their mind and i think that's the crime and punishment aspect of it where you know uh somebody hmm. is murdered and, and uh, even if they get scot free like okay the law is you know not uh, yeah. uh behind them or uh nobody is you know suspecting them i think they still will be haunted by this thing that they did like that's the idea of uh, crime right punishment. right right and i think towards the end that is uh, this and you talk about like the uh, acting being aware of uh, this uh, i think this is also a character who um, is constantly doing something else uh, he's like acting in front of his hmm. family also like he's doing something else on the side right like right he, right he, he right. can't reveal his plans to anybody ex- ex- like even the people who are part of his scheme like he's not revealing the bigger picture to hmm. them so it's like a guy who's like carrying hmm. all hmm. that load in his head in his head right yeah. right so so you'll recommend this film right yeah i mean for sure i mean um see i mean if you don't uh, if you think there's a kind of over sentimental touch to it and you don't want to watch it yeah fine i mean that's your choice but then i mean i don't think that should hmm. be a, a point where 
you say th- just because of that you want to reject uh, everything regarding this uh, film because i mean <laughs> i mean okay i do think majority of the audience is liking it i i am just saying this based on some uh, reviews and all that i've seen yeah yeah uh, especially on like facebook letterbox <laughs> and all uh, i mean yeah i mean those are just <laughs> snobs i guess Hey, but then there are also people who are like going completely like balls out crazy for this film also right yeah yeah i think it so, i, I mean, think it deserves it like i really enjoyed watching it like it was never there was never a boring moment in the whole thing especially towards mm-hmm. like the halfway point i was mm-hmm. just like what is going to happen now because it, it was literally like okay mm-hmm. this uh, you can't uh, get to a point where this uh, secret is revealed like they can't go to dig the police right. station and then they actually did it so i was like what is going to happen now like everything is revealed and he's admitted yeah. it also like now what will happen hmm. i think that is the point where it became a little more interesting because what had happened was hmm. i really like the idea of of us also of of us knowing the two sides of the story actually not just the two sides you know hmm. uh, because we knew that those uh, cops were spying on them right hmm. and uh, though those characters don't know so it was always you know in my head like what will happen now but at some point i i don't remember when but it became a little too boring because I, the story wasn't moving uh, you know ahead because mm-hmm. i i wasn't getting any more new information at that point mm-hmm. it was only around that point when you know, they're all cornered that family is you know literally cornered into something and you know okay now there's no escape like what is going to happen now like w- what is the twist that people are talking about in this film yeah yeah right so that that be- at that point became a little more interesting but in the middle it was a little too not boring it just became a little too sluggish mm. uh, but i think but if not you, if so you much. rewatch it i think those parts pay off yeah. a little bit more uh maybe 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 uh, I, yeah i mean uh i think maybe you can say it's, it could have been like 15 minutes shorter but i mean that's like very you know nitpicking like i don't want to say that also i mean it's yeah. pretty good as is yeah. i mean uh, mm-hmm. i don't want to like uh, pretend to be hmm. a critic or anything I mean, about it it's very enjoyable actually. considering cons- considering uh, jitu joseph's last movies this film feels like a masterpiece in all of that okay hmm. so you know for people who who claim that jitu joseph is a mastermind haven't seen a lot of his older films actually hmm. i mean he, this is a very good film i i'm not saying this is not a good film i'm just saying i i had literally like lost my temper watching uh, <coughs> that uh, hindi uh, the body hmm. uh the only hindi film he made so i i had zero hopes i was like borderline angry at what he made you know and i almost hated it so i mean this works i mean this yeah, is yeah. good i liked it so okay yeah so i mean that's it this was a quick episode uh, just uh, some quick thoughts on uh, drishyam 2 which is you know uh, going pretty mm-hmm. viral right now on ott Uh, let us know what you thought uh, subscribe to us uh, follow us on spotify yeah. uh, message dm us on instagram what have you thought of the movie uh, yeah that's it anything else sanjeev mm-hmm. no just like uh, should we ask amazon prime for you know sponsorship for this one yeah yeah sure they are waiting yeah thanks prime video india please sponsor us thanks bye okay cool i'm stopping now വളരെ മോശമായി പോയി അയാളുടെ തന്തയ്ക്ക് പറയാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ പക്ഷെ അയാൾ എന്നോട് അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞോണ്ടല്ലേ അയാൾ മോശമായി പോയി നീ ഇപ്പൊ വിളിച്ച് സോറി പറഞ്ഞേക്ക അയാളുടെ തന്തയ്ക്കൊക്കെ പറയാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഹലോ ആ ദുരക്ഷ ഇപ്പോഴേ ഒരാള് വിളിച്ച് തന്റെ തന്തയ്ക്ക് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ അത് ആരാണെന്ന് തനിക്ക് അറിയോ ഏ ഞാനോ ഞാൻ തന്നെയാ തന്തയ്ക്ക് വിളിച്ച ആള് ഞാനോ ഞാൻ തന്തയാണോ തന്ത അയാളുടെ തന്തയ്ക്ക് പറഞ്ഞ എന്തൊരു ആശ്വാസം